lights, camera, action. Shane Cortez, one of New Zealand's leading actors. You often see him on the telly, like right there. Shane, three, I've got a couple... 3D. 3D. This is Shane in 3D. Got a couple of questions for, for Shane. Sure. As an actor, you're always in the public eye. You're out with your wife, you're out with your kids. People look at you and they have certain expectations of you. And there's, you know, anybody can write an article, there can be journalists there. How do you manage the PR aspect? Because, I mean, you and actually a lot of the New Zealand actors have got pretty clean brands, right? So how do you manage that when you're when you're an entrepreneur and you're managing PR? What do you do? Have you got any tricks? Uh, there's no tricks as such, but I always I, I look after, when I look after my parents too, I look after the way I am out in the marketplace because as an actor, I'm no different from an entrepreneur. I, 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 I develop a product, I own the IP on the product, uh, I, I put it on screen, I test the product, Rehearsal, I mean, put it on screen, once it's on screen, I think you have to market it. And marketing is a very important part of yep. making people see the product. There's no point in doing uh, a television show or, or coming up with something if no one's going to see it, no one's going to do it. So, marketing and, um, and, and uh, perception of, of you and your product is as important as making it. So, I, I make sure that I'm, I'm certainly involved in a, in a number of charities. I'm very, I'm very uh, positive in the community. Yep. Um, I have a reputation of some of the tourism. No matter what roles I play, very on, clean on cut. Yeah, very, yeah. very clean cut. Whatever. <laughs> but look, you know, as soon as your face becomes recognisable, you're marketable. Yeah. Your face and product becomes recognisable. You're marketable. You're, you're, you're marketable. And and once you're marketable, opportunities arise. You know, the, the more the more you're seen, the more opportunities arise. The more you become a, a money maker. The people then see opportunities in you and, uh, and may can take advantage of that and make money from you, which I have absolutely no problem about at all, as long as I get some get spin off my, from that, get my spin off at all, and it all becomes a big cycle of, cycle of money. So anyway, to, to, to answer your, your, um, your question, one, it's to uh, throw myself into the community, to make sure that the product that I'm marketing at the time, which is my character on television, me as a person, um, fits within my, my moral hygiene, yep. which, is a, which is a good person, and, and make sure that people watch well, he was a Norwegian god, folks, so I guess that fits into his <laughs> personal tech. God of fire, exactly. Don't burn me. Um, my, my second question for you today is really around, you did Dancing with the Stars, right? I don't think you, you couldn't really dance before you did that show, could you? But you actually did really well out of that. In fact, he married the person he was with on the show. So that's doing really well. But, but here's the thing about it is we often get thrown curveballs. And as an actor, that would have been a real curveball yeah. for you. How do you process when you get that curveball? What was the decision-making process that you went through to get to, actually, I'm going to do this thing? Yeah, great question, because, uh, look, I, look, I got the call from my, from my agent, and I'd just come out of about two years on a soap opera, and I played a, I had a psychological killer, I was the soap opera's first serial killer, and, and by all intents and purposes, the public froze himself into that particular soap opera, and I was, I was a hated person, and, uh, which, one, gave me great pride, to me, done my job, really well. But when I came out of that show, the chances of getting another television program for a long time was just non-existent. Yep. My agent called me up to say I had an offer, not long after that, I had an offer from TV to get about another show, which excited me tremendously because I was going to be back on, back on television working. Uh, I asked him what the concept of the show was, what my character was, was I good or bad this time, straight away, okay, whatever. She said, well, I she said, you better take a seat. And then continued to explain to me the concept of the show where I appeared up with a professional dancer. We know, we know the show, appeared up with a professional dancer, taught a dance throughout the course of that week. And on a Sunday night, I did that dance live, current national, and they would text me, keep it around. At this point, I, I just did absolutely stone blank said, said no, this is what this is done. I'm an actor, where is this going to go for my career? She said, can we sit down and have a chat? And she'd been, she said, as, a, as a very good management and friend would do, she said, look, this is what's happened. You've just come out of playing a uh, serial killer for the last two years. The public perception of you is this particular character. What we'll do is we'll put you on the show where you will be you. And people will see that side of you. Uh, they will introduce you every time to someone who is shown that he's an actor. And to me, uh, as my agent said, to me, Shane, this is like the start of a blank piece of paper that's yeah. going to give you a completely, completely new start. And I saw that, I completely saw the logic, logic in that, and allowed me to, to wipe that, um, that character away from me, yet still show that I was a good enough actor to make people believe that I was good, and have the self-belief to be able to do something outside of the character. 
It's pretty damn good. Uh, I, I painted so much of all the product, so to speak, <laughs> and uh, married my dance partner, and now, now I have two kids. And from that show, went on to probably perform in more television shows as, as a broadcaster than most of the actors have done over the last six or seven years. In fact, they call me, the, uh, most of my peers are, uh, are laughing at me. They call me TV Hall. TV Hall. Shane Cortez, folks, brilliant actor. Not only that, somebody who's a risk taker, but calculated risk. I heard this word come through really loud and clear, and I want you to hear this as well. Self-belief. When you have self-belief, it can shift everything you do. Thanks, buddy. Let's get back and rock some lives, eh? Let's do it.